Hey folks, welcome to TK Actions V5 Quick Tip Number 3. I apologize for the delay since my last installment. I was photographing in northern Norway for a couple of weeks and my dad had a stroke. He's at home now and he's making excellent progress, but a lot of my attention and time has been focused on my parents since I got back from my trip. Now, if you have not used luminosity mass or TK Actions before, then this quick tip is for you. I'll start by briefly explaining what luminosity masks are and how they can be used to make image adjustments. Layers and masks are two features of Photoshop that make it so powerful. Some layers contain pixels that make up the image. Other layers contain adjustments that will determine how those pixels look. Masks control where and how much the adjustment on a layer will affect those image pixels. For example, a white mask reveals the adjustment on the entire image. A black mask completely conceals the adjustment, as if there was no adjustment layer there at all. Gray on a mask will reveal the adjustment in relation to how light or dark the shade of gray is. For example, a 50% gray mask will reveal or conceal, depending on how you're looking at it, 50% of the adjustment. Now I'm going to switch this back to a white mask. And if you paint on a white mask with a black brush, you can paint out that adjustment anywhere that you paint. And if you paint on a black mask with a white brush, you can paint in the adjustment anywhere that you paint. Hand painted masks can be just the right tool for controlling some adjustments, but they're generally not very precise and they often leave edges or halos where they run over into wrong parts of the image. Luminosity masks are just like painted masks in that they control where and how much the adjustment is applied and they also use white, black, and shades of gray to do this. However, the tones in a luminosity mask are calculated from the luminosity value of each pixel in the image. So they match the image details pixel for pixel, they feather perfectly with the image tones, and they do not leave edges or halos. They allow you to target adjustments to specific tones in an image without showing where the adjustment begins and ends. If I wanted to darken the light tones in this image using a painted mask, it might look something like this. I could add a levels adjustment layer and I could darken with that levels adjustment layer and then I could switch the white mask to black use a white brush and I'm actually gonna make it not so hard a brush and then I could use that white brush to paint in the adjustment to the sky and other places where I wanted it. This is what that hand painted mask looks like. And it does an okay job, but you can see it overlaps into the wrong parts of the image and leaves halos in other parts of the image. I'm going to turn that adjustment off and show you a similar adjustment made with a luminosity mask instead of a hand painted mask. So I'm going to select using the TK intro module here a lights one mask and I'm going to make that same levels adjustment layer adjustment and darken and darken a little further there and now that adjustment is targeted to those lightest areas of the image without affecting the dark areas and without creating any halos or obvious edges to the adjustment. And this is what that luminosity mask looks like compared to the hand painted mask. Tony Kuiper developed the intro module in the V5 panel specifically for new users. He included only the fundamental tools needed for generating basic luminosity masks. The rapid mass module is a little more advanced and it provides options for making masks from different channels and color ranges. It also has a variety of buttons that allow you to modify or customize masks in different ways. The intro module has only one luminosity lock option which uses the composite RGB channel and it only has the infinitize button for modifying masks. 
And on that note, make sure you check out my V5 quick tip number two video for info on how to modify masks. Without all those advanced buttons, the intro module has room for the basic darks, midtones, and lights masks to be laid out on a tone gradient and for the width of the buttons to represent the tonal range that will be included in the mask. This makes it easier to know which button might be the best one for what you need. For example, the darks one button will create the broadest darks luminosity mask targeting tones from black up into the midtones. The Lights 5 button creates the very lightest luminosity mask that will include just the brightest highlight tones and protect the midtones and the darks. Clicking each button in the intro module immediately generates a full scale preview of what the mask looks like. One method of finding the right mask to use is to simply click different buttons until you find a mask that is lightest in the areas of the image you want to adjust. For example, this is a Lights 1, a Lights 2, Lights 3, and Lights 4, and we already saw the Lights 5. Here's a Darks 1, Darks 2, 3, 4, and 5. Once the correct mask has been found, simply select the type of adjustment that you want to make from the Adjust menu and the adjustment layer will be created with the mask attached. If you're a CS6 user, you'll need to create an adjustment layer from the control module first and then click the apply button to accomplish the same thing. Now simply make your adjustment and the mask will reveal the adjustment in the tones that are the lightest in the mask and conceal the adjustment in the areas that are darker in the mask. And this is what that adjustment would look like if we hadn't used the mask at all. With practice you'll get better and better at finding the correct mask to control the adjustment you want to make. And remember that a lot of adjustments don't require any mask at all, and other times a painted mask or another type of mask may be better suited than a luminosity mask. But when a luminosity mask is the right tool, the V5 panel makes generating, comparing, and applying masks super fast and easy. So thanks for joining me for another TK Actions V5 Quick Tip. I hope it was good for you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.